All right, guys. Uh, just finishing up here and uh, putting the rest of my trapping stuff away for the year. And uh, anyway, it seems to be a lot of talk all of a sudden and all the time about uh, fleshing knives and sharpening and stuff. Uh, for that matter. So anyway, I figured I'd uh, I figured I'd get a video out there. There's not too many out there about proper flesh or flushing knife maintenance and sharpening and whatnot. So uh, first off, I think we need to start with uh, why a knife gets dull in the first place. Uh, a knife gets dull because it's got an edge. There's basically two edges of that knife that come together. Okay, and as that knife gets dull, them edges cross, which breaks that edge right there. Okay, it makes a wider surface, and that's why that knife dulls. Okay, so all you have to do is really a lot of times you don't have to remove metal. In order to make that knife sharp, you've just got to take that edge and bring it back together and make a finer point. And that's what makes that knife sharp, okay? Now on the case, this is a Necker knife, okay? And it's been through hundreds of coons. And it's only been actually sharpened one time. Okay. Now if you'll notice on these neckers, it's got, this is your sharp side of your knife. Like you, right here. Okay. You've got a bevel here and a bevel here. It's not just one straight bevel. If not, you couldn't control the angle and, and you'd cut deep into the coons. So you've actually got a bevel right there and then a smaller bevel right there. Okay. Now, if you sharpen that bevel out of this knife, it's going to be very hard to get get that knife back back to the right angle, okay? So, more or less, you're just trying to just touch up the edge, okay? Now, this knife here, this is just, just a standard, you know, $10 fleshing knife. This is my first fleshing knife. I don't use it anymore, but there's still a lot of them out there, so I figured I'd cover it. Okay, whenever you get this knife, it comes the edge straight across okay and you can't do a damn thing with it so what I did was I took a flap disc on a four inch grinder and I ground that down that edge right there then I made it sharp okay but you still got to have a bevel on the back side whenever you're so you won't be cutting into your your critter there you're fleshing so then on the back side take a file and try to maintain the same angle across there and you can see, see there's just a little bit of a bevel right there. You know, it doesn't have to be any, any kind of a depth. But it just has to be just a little bit of a bevel there. And that knife, that's sharp. Now this is just mild steel. These neckers are stainless, which means they're going to take a lot longer to, quote, dull. Now I find a lot of people say their knife's dull. And in reality, what happens is they'll get done fleshing and they'll put their knife aside, let it sit there for a day, overnight, what have you. Seems like, I, and I've, I've talked with quite a few people about this, and it seems like a lot, of, a lot of times what actually happens is there ends up getting a coat of fat and gristle on that edge. And that's what people believe dulls their knife. Or in reality, if that gets removed, that knife is just just like it was, you know, the day it was bought. You know, this is stainless steel. This is hard steel, and you're you're putting it against fat and gristle. Unless you're just hitting the edge of your wooden beam all the time. I mean, these knives shouldn't really dull. So, touch up that knife. I'd say the biggest thing about the maintenance is wipe this knife off every every day keep it clean now as far as touch up it's just your regular steel because there will be a layer of fat regardless that builds up here take that knife and now you got to follow that that bevel that little bevel there because if you drag it across this big bevel you're not even hitting that bevel touch up that's all i do i'll take and i'll go just just like so on both sides break it down and all that does is that breaks that fat off that metal and you'd be surprised how much that actually helps. 
So, like I said, flushed hundreds of coons, coyotes, beaver, you know. If you have to sharpen this knife, I would not suggest taking a file. There's a lot of people take a file to it. I believe you remove too much metal. That's just your basic fine sharpening stone, real fine stone, not coarse. If you need to, just take and just real easy follow that bevel. And these knives will last you a long time. Now, if you are hitting this every day with one of these mild steel knives, yes, they will. They will dull out quote, faster. But like I said, you've got to realize how, what dulls a knife. That metal is actually changing from this, you know, an edge like this to an edge like that. All you really have to do is realign that metal. So simply just take your file, run it down, you know, on both sides, count the times, touch it up with your steel, and you're good to go. Now some people might say that's wrong, but... You know, it's always worked for me. I mean, you can tell this knife's been used. And I have had not a problem with it. Like I said, I feel the more maintenance, there's more of a maintenance aspect to it than anything. So, anyway, I hope this helps.